Hi guys, Mr. Oakson here. Hope you're all okay. Uh, just going to go th through a few of the questions from this week's basic skills. A um, couple of you have got back to me and, and with a, um, a few questions on some of the um, the challenges from yesterday's. It was a tricky one yesterday. So I'm just going to do a few things just to remind you on this video. And obviously you can always keep this. So next time we do uh, basic skills, if there are any similar questions, you can refer back to this video and it might help you. Okay. So let's go through them in order of the ones that I noted down. So first of all, question 12 um, was circle the composite numbers. Now this is a bit of a tricky one because usually in basic skills we ask you to find the prime numbers. But the composite number is the opposite of a prime number. Okay, they are not prime numbers. But in order to answer this question you need to be secure with knowing what your prime numbers are and how to work them out. So remember a prime number is any number that has more than two factors uh, and those factors are one in itself, remember. Okay, so for example 21 has got the factors 1 and 21 because that's how you make 21, 1 times 21. If it was a prime number it wouldn't have any more factors but we know 21 is also in the 3 times table because 3 times 7 makes 21. So we know 21 can't be a prime number because it has more than two factors. Okay, so because 21 is not a prime number, it is a composite number. So that is one we need to circle, okay, because it is not prime. 23, well, we know it has the factors 1 and 23. Are there any other ways to make 23 by multiplying any of the whole numbers? Does 23 appear in any other times table? No, because 23 is a prime number. So 23 we would not circle on this question because it is not a composite number. Now 32 is an even number and we know all even numbers have the factor 2. So as well as 1 and 32 we know that 32 has the factor 2. It's 2 times 16 makes 32. 32 is also in the 4 times table. 4 times 8. So we can say for sure that 32 is not a prime number because it has all these factors, so therefore it must be a composite number. So we need to circle 32. 37, 1 times 37 makes 37. Are there any other ways of making 37 using multiplication? No. So 37 only has the factors 1 and 37, the two factors 1 in itself, so therefore it is a prime number. And the final one, 43, we know has the factors 1 and 43. Does it have any more factors? Can we make 43 any other way using multiplication? Is it any in any other times table? No. 1 and 43 are the only factors of 43. So we leave that uncircled. So therefore, question 12, circle the composite numbers, the numbers that are not prime numbers. The answer is 21 and 32. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go through uh, the next one. Uh, question 13 was 2,169 divided by 3. Well, this was a, a short method, uh, sorry, a short formal method of division question. A big bus stop. Um, maybe a bit of confusion with multiplication here. But we start with, don't we, how many 3s can we fit into 2? Well, if I just draw two little dots there, you can see that you can't get 3 into 2. 3 is more than 2. So we know we've got 0 there. Oops, and remember we must carry that 2 over to the 1. So now our question is how many 3's in 21? So we need to know our 3 times table. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 7 lots of 3 make 21. Nothing to carry over. How many 3's in 6? Well, that's 2. 2 3's are 6. No remainder. And how many 3's in 9? 3. So the answer to that question was 723. Okay. Uh, right. Question 18, you needed to remember the rule for um, turning mixed numbers into an improper fraction. So here's a mixed number. We've got whole number 3. We're in the fraction 7 15 And the rule, remember, is multiply the whole number by the denominator and then add the numerator. So 3 times 15... Well, we could do that 
3 lots of 15. Use our multiplication method. I could add 15 up 3 times. 5, 10, 15. 5 there, carry 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3 times 15 is 45. Add 7 is 52. And remember, we put the 52 as the numerator and the denominator stays the same. So 3 and 7 fifteenths as an improper fraction is 52 fifteenths. And again, there might be these questions next week. So look back at this video. It may help you. Okay, uh, next one. What have we got? We've got number 18. Where's number 18? Uh, no, nope, just a number 18. It's number 20. This is a rounding question. Uh, 3.19 rounded to the nearest whole number. So remember, a whole number is a number without any numbers after the decimal point. Okay, we're just interested in a whole number. Well, we've got 3.19, um, and we can see in our place value chart here, we want to get a whole number, so let's cover up the decimal. And our question to ourselves is, well, what is the next number to the right of the next column? Well, it's a one. So because that's a one, we keep this number, whole number is three. If that one was five or six or seven or eight or nine, we would round it up. Remember the, uh, the rule, okay, five and above, give it a shove. Because in, in this example it's a one, then we keep it as three. So 3.19 rounded to the nearest whole number is three. Okay. Uh, 21 was the question about the racetrack. It's 2.654 kilometers long. And if you did three laps, how, how uh, far would you have driven? Well, we've got two ways of doing this. 2.654 times three, you could either use repeated addition um, just by adding your number three times. 4, 8, 12, so 2 there, carry 1, 5, 10, 15 plus the 1, 6, carry 1, sorry, 16, 6 there, carry the 1, 6, 12, 18 plus the 1 is 19, so 9 there, carry the 1 over the decimal point, decimal point's already in my answer, 2, 4, 6, don't forget the 1 is 7. And our other method would be the short multiplication method. 3 times 4 is 12. So remember this way we put the 2 in there and we carry the 1. 3 times 5 is 15 plus the 1 is 16. So 6 there, carry the 1. 3 times 6 is 18 plus the 1 is 19. 9 there, carry the 1. And 3 times 2 is 6 plus the 1 seven so we can see we get the same answer regardless of the method we use okay uh, and finally two questions that you need to know your uh, not, uh, angles knowledge of angles so the first one was this one find the missing angle a well, in order to answer this question you need to remember that the angle of a full turn angles of a circle a full spin is 360 degrees okay think of a 360 degree spin um, all the way round. So here we've got these two angles and we've got to find this one. Well, if we add these two up, 107 and 158, 7 add 8 is 15, carry 1, 1 and 5 is 6, and 1 and 1 is 2. So we know those two angles equal 265 degrees. Well, to find the missing angle, we just need to take that away from the whole thing, which is 360. So in order to answer this question, once we've added up the two angles we've been given, we can take those, uh, subtract that 265 from 360, 0 subtract 5, well we can't do that without borrowing, so let's exchange that in the tens column for the units, 10 take away 5 is 5, 5 take away 6 again we can't do without borrowing, so we'll turn that into a 2, we know how to do this, 15 take away 6 is 9, 2 take away 2 is 0, so the answer to that question, angle A, is 95 degrees. And um, finally, similar sort of problem here. Yeah, you've got a triangle, and um, we've given 32 degrees for this angle. We've got to find the angle X. Well, what we need to remember here is the angle we learn first of all in school, which is the right angle. And there's a right angle, and we know a right angle is 90 degrees. So again, if we add those two together, we can find that missing angle. But what we've got to need to remember here is the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so we add these two numbers, 90 add 32, 2 add 0 is 2, 3 add 9 is 12. So those two angles together make 122 degrees. 
And if we subtract those two from the whole thing, the whole triangle, which is 180 degrees, we end up with zero take away two we can't do. So let's borrow one from the tens. 10 take away two is eight. Seven take away two is five. One is zero. So that angle there would be 58 degrees. Okay. So again, you can watch this video over and over. And if there's any more questions next week, come back to this video and it may just help you with some of the questions in our weekly skills next week. There's lots I've gone through there quite quickly, but uh, feel free to, to watch it, stop it whenever you need to um, and, and do some practice of, the, of some of the skills that um, you've perhaps struggled with this week. Great job, guys. Uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.